Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the AMD Radeon software not opening on Windows bug. This is a frequent and annoying problem but if you follow these steps then I'll get it working for you once again. Firstly we want to navigate to our C drive using File Explorer and completely delete the folder titled AMD. Now don't worry we will be replacing it very soon. Alternatively you can just delete the contents from all previous drivers but I'm planning a fresh install of all AMD software on this machine. Next open up apps and features settings by typing uninstall into your Windows search bar and the settings should pop up. In the second box under apps and features type AMD and select uninstall on AMD software. Now don't worry if you get some flickering, artifacting or a slightly off colour screen, it is normal when configuring display drivers as you will soon see our screen adopts a lovely green tinge when we uninstall the display driver. Click finish when the AMD software is finished uninstalling, we don't want to restart just yet. Next open up a web browser and google ddu or display driver uninstaller, select the second smaller link under the first google result to go directly to the download page. Click the link at the bottom of the page to download it. We're going to want to drag this onto our desktop for later. It's also a zip file, so don't forget to extract it to your desktop. Now when that's complete, we're going to want to navigate to our Windows search bar and type in safe, as we now want to boot Windows into safe mode. The second option that appears, called changed advanced startup options, is the one that we want. Click restart now under advanced startup. Now, when we get the choose an option screen, we're going to select troubleshoot, and then start up settings and finally restart. Now the option we want is number four, enable safe mode. So we're going to press the number four on our keyboard. Now I'm sorry that this might be a little difficult to make out due to the strange saturation we're getting due to the lack of drivers, but what we now want to do is open up our DDU folder we conveniently extracted onto our desktop earlier and run the display driver uninstaller executable. When the DDU window appears, we're going to want to enter the select a device type drop down menu and select GPU. Directly below this, we're going to want to select AMD if DDU hasn't automatically done so already. We have a lot of drivers installed at the moment on our test bench, but you probably won't, so don't panic if our log looks somewhat different to yours. Now, above the log, we want to select clean and restart. All this is going to do is remove AMD GPU drivers from your computer. It can take a second, so just sit back and relax as DDU will automatically restart Windows for you. Now, when Windows starts, you may very well have had a resolution change, but don't panic, it's not broken. It's Windows lacking the drivers to detect the current display resolution. This may very well fix itself over a minute or two as Windows properly configures its own default Windows display driver. This process of configuring the default display driver may cause conflict with the installation of the AMD Adrenaline software, which it does so in this video, but it is an easy fix. Once again, all we have to do is wait. In the meantime, open up a web browser and search for AMD drivers and select the Radeon Software Graphics Technologies search result. Scroll down to the download now button and again hit download now. Run the setup and save it to your C drive. Now, this is the error I was talking about previously. Like I said, all we need to do is wait, but I did navigate to Windows Update and check just to be sure. And there we go. When the resolution and color return, that usually indicates a display driver has been properly configured, but it's not the one we want. So again, rerun the AMD software installer. After it's done with the detection process, select the recommended version and hit install. Now all we need to do is wait. Again, don't worry about any flickering during the driver installation, it is completely normal. Hit restart when the installation is complete and that is it. When your PC restarts and you try to access the AMD control panel, it should now work. Thank you so much for watching, we do hope that it helped you at all and if it did, we would love if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. If you click over here, this will take you to another one of our YouTube videos that we know you'll enjoy. It's most likely a monitor video, they're doing pretty well recently. And thank you for watching, see you in the next one.